the Swedish combat vehicle 90 family, renowned for its versatility and adaptability, has welcomed a new member to its ranks, the DSPB-90D, or Drift Studs Pansarband Van 90D, a forward maintenance vehicle designed to bolster the Swedish Army's mechanized formations. Unveiled by BA Systems as part of a 90 million a contract under the CV-90 Reno upgrade program, this variant, alongside its sibling the Pip BV 90 d or Combat Engineer Vehicle, represents Sweden's commitment to enhancing battlefield sustainability and operational efficiency. Signed on November 16, 2022, between the Swedish Defense Material Administration and HB Utveckling AB, a joint venture of BAE Systems Heglunds and Bofors, the contract underscores a collaborative approach that has been lauded by company official Tommy Gustafsson Rask as a key success factor in delivering timely and cost-effective solutions. With deliveries beginning in 2023 and set to conclude by 2027, the DSPBV 90D is poised to play a pivotal role in maintaining Sweden's armored capabilities, particularly in the rugged subarctic terrain for which the CV90 was originally designed. Built on the proven CV90A chassis, the DSPBV 90D is tailored for frontline support rather than direct combat distinguishing it from the likes of the Steer F9040 Infantry Fighting Vehicle or the GRK BBV 90 Mortar Carrier. Unarmed, it is equipped with a hydraulic crane, towing winch, and an array of repair tools, enabling it to perform critical tasks such as field repairs, vehicle recovery, and the delivery of spare parts to forward units. This capability ensures that damaged or immobilized vehicles, especially other CV-90s, can be swiftly returned to service without retreating to rear bases, thereby sustaining operational tempo in high-intensity scenarios. Produced at BA Systems Heglund's facility in Örnskoldsvik, Sweden, with support from Rytek in Levanger, Norway, the DSPBV 90D leverages the CV-90's hallmark traits of high mobility and survivability, making it well-suited to the Swedish Army's needs in harsh climates and complex battlefields. As of March 2025, while exact delivery numbers remain undisclosed, the variant is actively being integrated into mechanized battalions, likely including those stationed in northern Sweden, such as the Norrbotten Regiment, where the CV-90's sub-Arctic optimization shines. The DSPBV-90D's procurement reflects a strategic evolution within the CV-90 Reno program, which began modernizing Sweden's fleet in the early 2020s. Valued at approximately 900 million SEK, the contract not only introduced the DSPBV-90D and PIPBV-90D, but also reinforced Sweden's industrial base through collaboration between Swedish and Norwegian partners. Deliveries commenced in 2023, aligning with earlier phases of the Reno program that saw the 100th upgraded CV-90 handed over by August 2020. The DSPB-90D's role extends beyond mere maintenance. It enhances combat efficiency by reducing downtime and ensuring vehicle availability, a critical factor in prolonged engagements or remote operations. While specific deployments remain sparse due to its recent introduction and operational security, the variant is designed for domestic use within Sweden's mechanized units, with potential involvement in NATO exercises following Sweden's membership in March 2024. Recent activities likely include crew training and field testing throughout 2024, with the DSPB-90D possibly supporting the upkeep of Sweden's remaining CV-90 fleet after the donation of 50 CV-9040Cs to Ukraine in 2023 to 2024. This donation, part of Sweden's support for Ukraine's defense against Russia, underscores the strategic importance of maintaining a robust support infrastructure like the DSPB-90D to keep the homeland fleet operational. The DSPBV 90D's design philosophy is deeply rooted in the CV 90's original development in the 1980s, when Sweden sought a vehicle family capable of meeting diverse battlefield roles while excelling in Nordic conditions. Its crane and winch systems, though not as heavy duty as those, those on tank recovery vehicles, 
are optimized for the CV90's 23 to 37 ton weight range, ensuring compatibility and efficiency within Sweden's mechanized ecosystem. The vehicle's mobility, powered by a Scania V8 diesel engine, delivering around 550 horsepower depending on upgrades, allows it to keep pace with frontline units, a necessity in the fast-moving dispersed operations envisioned for modern warfare. Furthermore, the Reno program's integration of advanced electronics, such as improved diagnostics and potentially networked logistics systems, elevates the DSPBV 90D's effectiveness, enabling real-time coordination with command units like the Strip BV 90. This technological edge aligns with Sweden's broader military modernization, which emphasizes resilience and interoperability within NATO frameworks. To assess the DSPBV 90D's standing, a comparison with regional competitors in Scandinavia and NATO allies is illuminating. Norway, a CV90 operator and industrial partner via Ritec, fields the BGBV90, an earlier armored recovery variant of the CV90 equipped similarly with a crane and winch. While the BGBV90 has proven effective, the DSPBV90D benefits from the Reno program's upgrades, such as improved electronics and survivability features, potentially offering superior performance in modern networked warfare. Finland, another CV90 user, relies on the Leopard Panzer II for recovery tasks within its armored brigades. The Berga Panzer II, with its heavier 62-ton chassis and 1,500 horsepower engine, excels at recovering main battle tanks but lacks the DSPB-90D's agility and compatibility with lighter CV-90-centric units. Denmark's Wisent II, a versatile recovery and engineering vehicle based on the Leopard II, presents a more formidable competitor, boasting advanced modular tools and a 1,200 horsepower engine. However, its higher cost and focus on heavier platforms make it less tailored to the CV-90 ecosystem than the DSPB-90D. Beyond Scandinavia, NATO allies like Germany deploy the Berga Panzer III Buffel, another Leopard II derivative, which offers robust recovery capabilities with a 30-ton crane capacity and advanced diagnostics. While the Buffel outclasses the DSPBV-90D in raw lifting power, its larger footprint and focus on tank support contrast with the Swedish variant's nimble CV-90-specific design. The US M88A2 Hercules, widely used across NATO, provides a benchmark with its ability to recover 70-ton vehicles and tow up to 140 tons, far exceeding the DSPBV 90D's scope. Yet the M88A2's size and logistical footprint make it less suited to the rapid, forward-focused maintenance role that the DSPBV 90D fulfills within Sweden's mechanized battalions. This comparison highlights the DSPBV 90D's niche, a lightweight, agile support vehicle optimized for the CV90 family, prioritizing speed and integration over the brute strength of heavier recovery platforms. The DSPBV 90D's strategic value extends beyond its technical specifications to its role in Sweden's evolving defense posture. As NATO's newest member, Sweden is aligning its forces with alliance standards, and the DSPBV 90D's interoperability with CV90 variants used by Norway, Finland, and Denmark enhances regional cooperation. Its potential participation in exercises like NATO's Nordic response or bilateral drills with Finland could showcase its capabilities, fostering joint operational concepts among allies. Moreover, the variant's development reflects a broader trend towards sustainability in military design, with BAE systems exploring hybrid electric options for future CV90 iterations, a direction that could eventually influence the DSPB90D's successors. In the context of Sweden's Ukraine support, the vehicle's ability to maintain fleet readiness amid reduced numbers is a quiet but critical contribution to national security.